Good day people, it's Nick here we're on the ZX Spectrum once again and we're going to be playing Bongo, yes Bongo, published by Analog Software in 1984. It's a platformer, quite a weird platformer, it's also come out on the Commodore 64. You play the part of a big mouse in a cheese factory over different single screen levels and you must collect diamonds. Uh, there's letters that fall down as well, if you collect those to spell out a word you get extra lives. I do know I poke for this, but we won't put it in. Let's see how I go. So I'm that rather fat mouse. There's a green crocodile thing coming to get me. And I have to avoid that and get the sparkly diamonds, which you can see flashing in white, maybe on the bottom uh, left. Now we go up ladders and down those slides, those yellow things. Wherever you see a red arrow, we can jump across there by pressing fire button. And we must evade capture by that crocodile. Have you got the idea right? Yes. Cheese factory, chased by crocodile must collect diamonds. Pretty obvious, eh? And that's the common problem with all cheese factories. I think we need to collect about five diamonds, and once we've done so, we get to the next level. Eventually, there'll be more than one crocodile after you, and this game is bizarre. Um, quite a lot of colour clash here as you go up and down the ladders. Um, sound is a bit weird too. Right, there's another diamond got, so now we're going to head down to the right there. You see that one? I will see, look, the collision detection is weird. They just have to hit you by one pixel, um, regardless of perspective, and you are dead. Amount of lives in the top middle there, saying lives free. You don't have to start from scratch. Uh, once you die, it remembers how many diamonds you've collected, so you can continue onwards. Those zigzaggy things, those white things, are the teleport. You can go from one side of the screen to the other, but they're not super quick. So plot your path, red arrows, and try and lure the alligator into a full sense of security, right. Interesting AI. Is it going to teleport me across? Yes, but not quick enough. Boom. This is one fat tall mouse. There's the letter B going there. For, I think we can spell out bongo. I think you get two extra lives if you get the whole word. So there's the B again, which is also missed. Try and trip the alligator where you want it. Have you ever been a big mouse in a cheese factory? I don't know why I ask these questions. Let me know if you have been and how did you get on collecting diamonds. Now, um, a few of you might not know anything about this game. It wasn't a huge hit. Uh, it didn't go down in retro history as a super game. Um, but here it is for you. Bongo. B-O-N-G-O. Bongo. Uh, you might have heard the drums, the bongos. I'm not sure if you can get a singular bongo, but if you did order a singular bongo rather than a set of bongos from the music shop as we die, they might have delivered this instead. So your drumming career would have been over. Can we get off level one? That's what everyone's saying. Well, the people that have uh, uh, clicked on the button to watch this video, so you, uh, hello you, my name's Nick. I might have mentioned it. Right, go on mouse. Up, up, up. This tune is might be random, it's not a tune, it's just a noise. But it might be a noise that you might come across if you was ever trapped in a cheese factory. A cheese factory? I thought they just churn milk, don't they? I don't think there's any ladders and slides in a cheese factory, but maybe I've got it all wrong. I've never been to one. Right, I'm sure we just need one more diamond and it's really far away. Um, let's, yeah, where's that crocodile going? I presume it is a crocodile. Maybe it's just a big stalk or a man with a big nose. Right, this might be the last diamond. No, we need another one. I think we can just get across there. Oh, this is going to be close. Did we get that? No, we need another one up the top there. Right, so the letter N keeps falling down. We've already got B and O. We've got B-O and uh, we need N. Lots of B-O around here. Right, come on, Mousy. I think we've got this now, haven't we? Now, you can't jump across ledges where there's not a red arrow. We've done it. Hooray. Right, not hanging around. Next stage. So I hope you enjoyed that really short level end sequence. Um, yeah. Right, one. So in theory, the ledges or the levels are getting increasingly more difficult. Hopefully I can get to the stage where there's more than one crocodile over you after you, because then that starts getting rather difficult. You see there's a, we're above a waterway, which all cheese factories have. I wouldn't mind getting a gondola. Colour clash, terrible. But 1984, we can let that go. It's all about unique games on the ZX Spectrum quite often. 
don't know how this plays on the Commodore 64, probably similar but without the Color Clash, but it's the Color Clash for me that gives it its charm. Without that in it, I think I'm not sure it'll be as good. Here we go! Do we just get an extra life then? Right, there we go. Lots of teleports in cheese factories. I think the trick is to get the crocodile a little bit behind you, so as long as he's behind you all the time, and not finding different routes across, you're there. Uh-oh! See, look at that. His big nose clipped my foot. Boob! Now, I don't know how many levels there are on this game, but we won't be completing all of them. Now, this won't be a blundering series where we do a blundering bongo. So, what do you think of this game? Did you have it back in the day? Or is it the first you've ever seen of it and you can't believe it exists? Ladders and Slides. Other ladders games are Panic and their various incantations or incarnations. They're not incantations, that's something different. Incarnations. But um, Ladders and Slides, there's not too many of those. Uh, certainly not ones where you get to control a big mouse. There's a game called Roland Rat where you control Roland Rat, but there are no mice that I can think of at the moment. Right, we're going to get off level two, aren't we? Surely. I think we've got the measure of this thing. Crocodiles are the same size as the uh, mice, as you didn't know. This is the proof. Get that G? No. Yeah, if you just need G and O, we get some extra lives here. Bon. Right, come on. So it's very tactical. Yay! So it's quite tactical, this game, and I would say it is quite well put together, really, for 84. Um, and it is quite addictive as well. Um, strangely enough, I was expecting to really uh, lay into this game, but I quite like it. What's up with me? Yeah, I like this game. It's not it's not a big sensation by any means, but it, it fits all the criteria of Spectrum Curio. God, I love this computer. Excellent times. Du, 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 du. Okay, go mouse, go. So this is level three. I think level four we might have two crocodilia after us. You can get into a rhythm here. Right, next diamond is on that ladder. Need to lure the crocodile over in this direction. Yeah, he's having none of it. Oh, that's wrong. Oh, good, good. He's made a boo-boo there. Oh. Right, do we get that O? I'm not sure we got that O or not. Sometimes it's a bit hard to get off the... Uh, there we go, we've done that. Level, but that was... You had that with Chucky Egg as well. Prefer Chucky Egg to this one, to be fair. But uh, this is nice. Nice in a... Nice in a weird way. In a, like, a sadistic way. Uh, as a kid, I think I would have liked this game. Would have played it for quite some time. Yeah, I, I think because it's got what well, I think what always makes a good game, which is quite rare sometimes, is a nice gentle learning curve. Yeah, look, there's two of them now. Well, the gameplay should get quite impossible. Oh, it seems to be slowing down. 48k seems... Oh, look, I'm dead now. 48k seems to be struggling to... Yeah. The gameplay's got a lot slower now. Yeah, oh dear, it's, it feels overloaded. The computer's doing too much. Um, with two of them after me, if I can get them rough, yes, yeah, see, if I can get them roughly in the same place, it's when they split up and on different bits of the uh, the screen, then it gets a bit of a problem, right? They're overlapping each other, something chronic there. That's not working. So this game doesn't really work when there's more than two moving things on the screen. I feel like I'm in slow motion now. That might help me. Now, if there's any levels later on in this game where there's three of them after you, I think it might just grind to a standstill. So, a little bit flawed in that respect. Maybe if you played it on 128k, it wouldn't be so bad, but there were no 128ks in 1984, and by the time the 128k did come out, I'm not sure many people would have been playing this. Not sure how many units it shifted, but not a great deal, I'd imagine. I love that animation when he goes down the slide. Good choice of colours. I do like the animation of that those waves beneath there. Good, good. But I don't think we're going to complete this. There's too many things after us. Um, hello. Right, see, he's right behind me to the point that he's flickering and I'm dead. How many lives we got left? Two. Dip, 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 dip. Hopefully this tune isn't in your mind for the rest of the day. 
Um, yeah, I don't. Maybe if the tune got turned off, it'll go a bit quicker. But the myriad of pixels that hit you, like there. See, look at that. Did he hit me or not? I think there's a small. There's what? What's the problem with this? Is around the enemy, the crocodile things chasing you. There's a there's a black box around them, and if that black box hits you, then you're dead. So which means that the collision detection isn't brilliant. Um, yeah, a very odd mouse, but mice walk like this. Um, they walk upright on two legs. There might have been some genetic experimentation going on in this cheese factory. We can only guess. Right, are we gonna see? I can't jump across there because there's no red arrow, and that spells doom. Doom for you. I think that's it. That's my last life. Oh no, this is my last life. I lied. Life zero, it says up there. So this is it. And um, I think we've created the same problem we did before. They've got me in a pincer movement, and the mice is dead, chomped by crocodilios. Well, I hope you liked having a look at that one. I think that's that's by far enough. I thought it was quite fun. That was Bongo on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by Anarog Software in 1984. Got any comments or thoughts about that one? You're more than welcome to put them below. Always love hearing from you. If you haven't subscribed already and you're liking what you see, please consider doing so, because that helps the channel a great deal. If you want to help it a bit more, there's patreon.com slash njenkin. Any bit of assistance is really um, helpful. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.